The results are in. I have received the Blackstone oil analysis from my E92 M3. Are my rod bearings failing? Before I dive into the specific results of my car, I want to give two reasons why you might do an oil analysis. The first reason is to find out if your engine is healthy. Are pieces of the motor falling apart inside while you're driving? Are your cams wearing too quickly? Are there bearings that are failing? Oil analysis can give you that information, or at least lead you to some preventative maintenance that can save you from blowing a motor. The second thing that oil analysis is really good for is oil analysis. You can find out if your 5,000 mile oil changes are excessive, or if your 10 or 12,000 mile oil changes are way past due. In a recent video, you saw me collect an oil sample and send it off to Blackstone Labs in Fort Wayne, Indiana. What they do is they analyze the oil to say what sort of elements are being found in the oil, and also they analyze the oil for flashpoint, viscosity, and overall health. So let's get to it. When you receive an oil report, it's gonna look something like this. For most people, the most important part of this is the comment section because they're gonna go ahead and after giving you this detailed analysis of what they found in the oil, they're gonna summarize it by telling you if you have anything to worry about. Thankfully, my E92 M3 is safe. My rod bearings are primarily composed of lead and only two parts per million of lead were found in the oil. And that is well within the realm of safety with these with these things but at the same time this gives me the peace of mind that i can continue driving the car uh, for another 10 20 000 miles and if i see that lead content start to creep up i'm going to know that i'm going to need to go in and have a rod bearing service performed oil analysis is also really good if you were to let's say build a new motor or uh, install a new cam or any kind of internal work on the car whether it's pistons rings etc uh, you might want to do an oil analysis right after your break-in and then another one after the full you know, cycle of oil, so three to 5,000 miles of driving, to find out if you have excessive wear on the parts that you just added. Did the engine break in properly? Or maybe you just bought a really high mileage car and you're trying to find out if you have a bad head gasket. Oil analysis is going to tell you if they're finding traces of coolant in the oil or if the flash point of the oil is far too low, then you'll notice that maybe there's fuel in your oil. So this is a great way to find out the overall health of your engine. In my particular case with this E92 M3, I can go through and say, all right, I'm very safe doing a 5,400 mile oil change. My viscosity, flash point, all within spec. So I know that my oil is not degrading prematurely. Now, that means that I could try to stretch that out a little further, maybe six, seven, eight thousand miles, send it in for analysis and find out if that's also healthy. And for about $28, it's pretty solid peace of mind. So in the comments, the good news is there's only two parts per million of lead that turned up. So we're not seeing any sign of poor wear in that area or any, anywhere else for that matter. Averages for this type of engine are based on 5,700 miles of oil use. Mine was 5,400. And after a similar interval, wear metals are right in line so we don't suspect any mechanical trouble in the works. No contamination or other issues were found. Nice Beamer. So thank you Blackstone Labs for giving me the peace of mind to go and drive the hell out of my car. So if you're at all worried about your engine, oil analysis is a great way to either put your fears to bed or pinpoint what you should be worried about. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And as always, respect the drive.